going on everybody doc average gamer guys finally back with some more hardcore action episode two let's jump in here so transparently up front <clears throat> i started our first episode very quickly into the wipe i was pretty happy with it and then the urge to grind her main account hit which is typically what happens with me i like to get some fast progress as of the recording of this i just hit level 35 just got private clinic done so just got our thick items case so we're moving along pretty nicely um i've also wanted to do a lot of things on the main account for future videos so we did some street stuff in addition to that uh we focused and i'm focusing on the gunsmith tasks i want to progress through those as quickly as i can in order to help provide a guide because there's a lot of changes there's a lot of updates and a lot of things going on so i digress i am going to say we're a decent way not decent way into the wipe because the wipe is a long time but we're about maybe a little over a week since the first episode that we recorded so we're jumping back in but here's what we got going we had a pretty good end to our first episode we took some deaths there uh, but we were able to get a few things done we're going to continue on with trying to find some of these things and i'm going to be jumping into woods standard hardcore start we're going to try to pick up some guns i'm really going to focus on some meds i'm also going to try to focus on some food that way we have some options really quickly you'll notice i have some usd here i had one purple of the christmas ornaments that event is very much over so we went ahead and sold that um and we'll see if we can make some get some luck with some keys so we're gonna jump in we'll head to woods here for this first one and we'll see how it goes see you right All right, here we go. You know, I think we go around this way. For two reasons. One, we should pretty easily be able to get some some scabs here. Two, I'm actually hoping the like the PMC traffic is less. I also don't know if we can, like... I don't know if we can, like, shore up into a house at all. TMO. Please, no. Security vest is not ideal. It's not terrible. Terrible. That's the other reason we ran over here. Not that we really need the gold items, but boom. Take it. Did get a PPSH. Got another knife. We whiff some pistol shots there. Scav kind of moved and grooved on us a little bit, which I didn't anticipate, but... Okay. Oh, man. I'm gonna take this. Needed FIR, though. Technically, it's not a barter item. Do that. I heard somebody hit a mine. It's 
Squash is good. We'll drink the juice and the sausage. Oh, buddy. We're taking the sausage. We don't need the sausage. We will eventually need the sausage, but we're going to take the sausage. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see if this is like a pretty consistent spawn for that. Okay. What we got here? PSTM. I have to check that. Feel like some people have a hard time finding the sausage. You might want to check there. What is this? What is with all these good items? That cyclone's pretty solid. That's sell really good if we could hang on to it. Not gonna worry about it now though. Alright, essentially what I wanna do. Let's just get up over here. Scabs are likely, players are likely. Let's see what this turns into. On stream the other day, did a lighthouse scab run with a Papa Shaft and uh, ended up killing three players. It's pretty hilarious. Was this guy? Dude, how many times do I gotta hit this guy? He reloaded for me, which is nice. I'm going to take the simple wallet. I almost want to take this as my item. I feel like the storage is just going to be too good early. need this. I don't really need the splint. I don't think he did reload. No, he did, I guess. I was kind of hoping for an armor. Sounds like that guy, that guy stepped out of mine. ET ammo. I'll take a 60 stack. That's pretty good. That's good early. I need a backpack. Brick of D&D. That's a security item. And for those of you that are fans of this hardcore series and have been with me for a minute, you know that sometimes they struggle to find that. Seems much easier this go around, which is nice. All right, we gotta get kind of lucky with the scab of the backpack. Finding a nice variety of items. This will be good for the dehydration quest. We're not going to take it, though. Did I spit a bullet? Look at the... Look at that. Uh, all right. Well. Yeah. Pretty cool, actually, when you think about it. Marbles. I want to keep my metabolism just absolutely topped up. 
best we can. I could use like an AFAC, IFAC. Use an armor. Green flare. If that was a red flare, I would 100% have popped that. I'm going to come back for that. Green tea. Damn. Fog would be nice, too. We had a little bit of storage space. Pop down here. Been getting some ping and stuff. I don't know if you guys have been feeling the same lately. I don't know why. All right. Uh, so gold item search. There's a horse right there. Which. Gosh, I almost replaced the wallet for the horse. I'm gonna. And the reason I'm gonna do this is because. We want to get to, I want to get to the barter trade for, <coughs> excuse me, I want to get to the barter trade for a docs case as quickly as possible. Now that obviously is going to come with its own set of criteria and we're going to have some work to do, but finding that stuff early and going quickly with it is very important because the docs case for this for any standard account is huge just from a storage space capacity, but it's even bigger and hardcore for the ability to hold lots of keys. And lots of keys we want to hold. Metal parts will be nice. So we lost an arm, but our thorax is pretty solid. I don't need that T. ammo we got PS PS okay so my thought here since we don't have a backpack yet I'm actually gonna run down I run to right here down here Check out the convoy just to see if we can get any meds. Then we'll head to USEC stash area. Not seeing any? I wonder if anybody's somebody's been here. Usually you can get some meds on the ground there. go from that though okay I'm gonna head <clears throat> around into the right check this stash I think again if we can secure this I'm okay securing what we got we got a couple acquaintance items which is awesome would really like a we're able to get the scavs that we needed we just couldn't, couldn't get powered up into a backpack unfortunately or a better rig either one of the two yeah somebody hit this already which doesn't surprise me because there's a spawn that way only thing is is there might be somebody over here I might just hit the meds and then move around I don't know. 
Not sure. My other thought is that this has probably been pretty well cleaned. So most of the good stuff is probably gone. Juice, splints on the ground, you know, like an IFAC or something. Let's pop in here. There used to be gold spawns right there. I haven't seen them in a long time. Might want to grab that juice really quick. This is going to sound crazy, but this is like... That right there is super rare. That would be huge for us to get out. From a gunsmith perspective. I wish they would fix this. Just bring the net up like... I don't know, a frickin' foot or something, you know? We got... Car battery. And drill. a better move. A55 ammo. Not bad. Hmm. Headset? We'll give it a run over here. Let's just see. Ewatka. not the headgear I was hoping for, I'm going to be honest. So we do need... I'm going to take that. We need TP. I feel like sodium's kind of... Rare-ish. Kind of feel like we got to look at a little of everything. There's some bullet holes over here. see a gun that's huge for us though it's actually really huge for us
could just full on take like everything now. Vodka sells pretty decent. I didn't even see a Vaseline here. Do not want to be the second victim. All good things, all good things. ammo as we can. Can I make this work? Doesn't give us a lot of bullets, but this could be really good here. Yeah, we have like no shots left in this. have any ammo to load in here either do I I don't think there's any other way to make that work well, we're gonna have to rely on our five shots here that we got in this bad boy Definitely gonna just try to make our way out. You know, we could head over towards car there and see if we can, you know, maybe drop another scav or two. I just don't feel confident. Having not been able to heal or find any heals. And if we had rounds we had like some LPS or some PS rounds for that single shot rifle, I would feel much more confident. Because then we could get some distance, but we do have slugs with this, I guess. But aiming this thing is a nightmare. This mount on it. Let's just see what we can stumble on here. If we can get an optic or something for this thing, would be great. No such luck. better of a position here we can use the wall to protect us hopefully from some scavs I 
I'm gonna check ZB14. It's probably not very smart. if he's going to push me down here. I just don't know if I'm going to hear him. Answer my question about not hearing him. Jesus. Oh my god. That's why I took so many bullets. <laughs> this freaking game, man. I swear. Okay, so here's the thing. I want to keep this. I don't, I don't think it makes sense. It makes sense to do that. We need to get the heck out of here. I don't know where that scab was. I would love to get another scab or two and fill this rig up. We're taking it that was big that was a good raid so we finish off the scabs we need for debut which is awesome we got some shots in we got some stuff done is that gonna put us at five it is we'll heal this bad boy up all right and our loot haul looks like this um we pick up another section of guns we get a gazelle there at the end that uh that scav absolutely ate some slugs through but it worked we got it done we keep our pistol we pick up an ak pretty happy with this quest items we get a tushanka and iskra we actually grab a cms found in raid that we're going to need and we gear up kind of just a smattering of ammo we also grab this forda shift grip which Again, if we can get any traction with the gunsmith task, this thing is going to be absolutely huge for us. So 
That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead. Let's get some stuff turned in. So those two things are turned in. At level five, we should open up our dailies. I'm gonna survive shoreline. We can get supplier, so we're gonna need the Taz and the 3M. We need to go to factory and kill two scavs. I don't really wanna do that. Then we need the steel helmet, but it has to be found in raid, which is kind of like, I guess it's not the craziest thing. So the question is, where do we want to go from here? <clears throat> um, we have this AK-105. That's like not in terrible shape. And I'm almost thinking that maybe we take this in or maybe our SKS in a backpack. And we give interchange a run. And I say that because we can go, we can grab some, we can definitely grab some food that we probably need. So for acquaintance, we need croutons, we need another beef stew, and we need the Iskra. We can grab most of that in Goshen. We'll grab some good hideout items. Grab another set of this. Pretty happy with this overall. Some of this stuff we're going to sell because we do want to make some money. So we'll get organized here. I think I'm going to take the backpack, the SKS. We do have BT rounds, though. I could take the MP18. Maybe I just do that. I'll figure it out. We're probably taking a backpack. And we're probably going to interchange. So we'll see you in the raid. All right. Queued up the night madness. I don't particularly like this spawn. We didn't bring a ton of rounds either, so we're going to need to take down a scabby. Here's what concerns me. The guy potentially to my left. Apologize if it's a little dark. Just kind of figured a night run would be a smart thing for us to try to do. Hello? <clears throat> See if we can get lucky here. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, no. Salt is like... <laughs> Salt feels like it's more rare than green bats at this point. Which is not great. Here's what I'm thinking. Do we have Emercom? Gosh dang, we do. <laughs> so what I'm thinking here is because we can make this a very very fast run might not get the food that I need I'm gonna run back to this duffel bag over here I don't think there's much here to loot I'm gonna run back to the duffel bag where's the fire at I'm gonna run back to over here I'm gonna give it a minute and then I'm gonna creep up or I'm gonna move up Underneath, and I'm going to go up the escalator by the cash registers near the back. And now we're just going to try to loot around Ollie really fast. Fill up our backpack and get the heck out. Good start. Definitely want... All of that stuff. I don't, I don't think I would be tagged and cursed here. I wouldn't assume I would be, but I should be careful. We're pretty squishy, so 
I'm gonna take our time here. This always makes me nervous right here. Our guy over that way. He could have been up top as the other problem. I can't believe I missed that dude. I'm not used this gun like at all, so. I also don't have a clue where he ran to. I think he went left, but I don't know. It's so damn foggy and dark. All right. Come on, weapon crate. Hook me up. Help me out here. That's not the way. chance we're not keeping that please stop there we go we got him Let's see what else we got. Where else we got? I feel like that was me on metal. Yes, that's so big. Oh, and we hit him in the head, too. Okay. Pull back really quick. I'm getting rid of that. Yes, okay, okay. What do we got in here? T45M? I mean, I ain't mad about it. We could get a little optic. Yeah, but... Oh, they scared the shit out of me. Oh, that guy literally scared the shit out of me. Hunter two. Honestly, like I truly feel like we just leave.
Let's just try to grab maybe a few things. So here's the thing, we've got more guns, you know? Can't grab that. I don't have a ton of space. Anyways, but we've got an armor. Take that. I don't really need the vest at the moment. This trades for an armor. So that's huge. Alright, let's just see if we can grab a few other little goodies. fit I feel like we gotta just take this W Kind of didn't hit our objective, but I'm okay with that. Um, we could try to hit the stashes over on the side. That might not be a bad idea. I think I'll drop the PSV for the blue tape. I think I do. I think. Oh, you know what? The duffel bag over here. <clears throat> the duffel bags are worth hitting just because they can have such a wide variety of items in them. That's kind of what we need. We just need some random spawns and things. And right there, just goes to show you. Sometimes I look, this game makes me look like a freaking genius, doesn't it? That was really lucky. But, what I said is accurate. It's got a lot of, it's, it's got a large item pool, so. had a pistol too he did oh this is such a good rig Might not be ideal, but it is what it is. Got very lucky with that, too. Feel like I gotta make my way. Let's just try to do it. 
Got too many guns, got too many good things. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Got ourselves a little groove going here. This has been nice. Good little, uh, quick little raid. Handful of scavs. I am, uh, pretty pleased with that overall. All right, so our loot haul here, also fantastic. We managed to pick up, including keeping our MP18, we pick up another four <laughs> guns. Uh, a really nice AKM. This thing is set up really well. We've got a Bastion. We've got the, the, the foregrip, the wooden foregrip on here. Like, we are ready to throw an optic on this thing, and, like, we are rocking and rolling. We get a TT, no spare rounds, but, again, we can zero to hero with this TT. We get a VPO, which is really nice, and we get an 870 shotgun with some FTX rounds and a seven-round mag, which is uh, actually pretty, pretty sick. I'm very, very happy with our build here. We, we have a nice collection of firearms starting to... Uh, starting to appear we don't pick up a ton of meds um we do pick up one s mark the best part is we grab two uh of our items that we need for acquaintance here and we do want to continue we want to keep working at um at jaeger here a bit the stews are done now we just need the iskras and one more amelia and uh we can open up some more stuff for him fortunately no taz no 3m but the better news is that we actually pretty well have a full kit. We have a class four body armor. We have a helmet. Um, again, what I'm going to look to do, I'm going to look to find an opportunity to get a sight on this if we can. And if we can throw a sight on this bad boy and maybe some type of comp, I'll, I'll kind of keep an eye out for that. If we can do those two things, we can rock this with our 6B armor here and our 6B47 helmet, and we are in business. So... We're gonna sell that we'll hang on to all these rounds the other thing we get the salt which is really really big i'm gonna sell this i'm gonna sell this uh we'll sell the diary for now propane is really good i don't know i think this is open at level one it is so level one propanes become 6b23 armors and uh there's a chance that i do this right away potentially i'm not sure we'll have to see on that um, but we grab a tool set, which is really big for us. Propane is great. I am, um, and then we're just starting to stock up some items. That's the good part. We're starting to stock up some good barter items. We did burn through some ammo there, but again, having this armor is, I can't, <clears throat> I can't describe enough how having a, hand, a couple of handfuls of armors and some headsets is, uh, how important that is for this series. Just from the perspective that they are the hardest things to come by typically uh is those two guns are relatively easy every scav has a gun not every scav has body armor and certainly lots of scabs almost none unless they're player scabs uh have any type of headset on them so we got to get lucky with those so what we'll look at doing here i'm gonna wrap this episode up i think those two good raids well were pretty solid let me sell a few of these things and what i try to do with this stuff is i do try to move it around um I want to kind of work peacekeeper although we really don't need dollars like dollars are like the one thing we absolutely do not need but i want to work around on him i want to try to get him leveled up uh i also want to obviously focus on getting skier and getting some things done with him and then uh we'll sell any extra melees we're going to keep these black handled ones just so that we can uh maybe do a trade here in the future but i am uh very very happy with our progress i also need to grab this I want to hang on to this light a couple of things i want to stack up and just gunsmith always kind of seems to feel like a drag for us like we really have a hard time kind of churning through some of that stuff so i want to put a little bit of focus on maybe just holding on to some things to be able to do that i gotta remember to try to find some 855 or some 856 ammo um but i feel like overall we're sitting okay i feel like that, that was a very good episode for us to get those two survives, get some quest items, get a couple of things done. Let's just see if we can do anything in the hideout. I don't think we can. Not quite yet, at least. 
with just Mooney. Because we did get vents. Um, we need boxes of matches. We need one more box of matches. We need basically to hit med camp for that. You can probably find all that stuff there. The measuring tape. We need a cricket lighter. Need some nuts and bolts. We got the teepee and the soap. We need the toothpaste and the all. So, we got some work to do on the hideout, but we'll wrap this one up here. Good episode. Two survives. Solid raids. Stack of guns. It's probably the best start with weapons we've had in hardcore uh, in the last couple of seasons. So, very happy with that and happy that we can keep moving along on some things. I'm going to flash some socials. I just want to say. Thank you so much for checking this out. Thanks for sticking with the channel. Really looking forward to a good hardcore season, and I hope you are as well. So thank you so much for being here. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all the good YouTube things for us. We really do appreciate it. It certainly helps the algorithm out and uh, lets more people see the series. And I've appreciated all the comments and everything that you guys and gals share with me. So thank you so much. So we'll wrap it up. We'll see you in the next episode of Hardcore.